Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's been a while since I had my Zephyrus M undervolted and I was checking if it could go lower. The temps were already good to be honest, but I still wanna check if it could go much lower without replacing the stock thermal paste. So here are my throttle stop settings. Um, for the speed shift, I went from 64 to 32. Uh, this was zero a few days ago, but I think it was too much. 32 can still go 3.9 gigahertz. And for the FIVR, the core offset is now negative 198.2 millivolts, and the cache is negative 30.3 millivolts. That is my throttle stop settings. And for the MSI afterburner. I also went from 900 millivolts to 875 millivolts, same steps as before. So let us try opening Cinebench. I am just gonna do the multi-core render for now. So let us check the net and see if how much the average 8750H scored. So the GM501 scored 11.68, just slightly higher than the Aero 15X. Though the undervolted Aero 15X produces great results too based on what I've read. And on this page, they reach, wow, 12.70, though their first render was 12.32. So let us try ours. So we scored 1213 while using NVIDIA's recorder. And now let us try recording with an external cam to see the true results. And this was shot immediately after the previous one since you can also see the previous score 1213. And we reached 1246. Pretty good in my opinion. I ran it again and it scored 1255. This was my highest so far. Now let us try the V-Ray benchmarking tool. Let us try the CPU only. Now we got a render time of 1 minute and 48 seconds. That is around 15-20% to 20 faster than the previous one. I think that's pretty cool. So let us try with games. Hmm, let's try PUBG and here are the temps and frames with speed shift on at 64. And here with the speed shift at zero. Small increase in temps. Turning on speed shift and replacing a higher value than the 128 default 
should improve the temps but it gets your clock slower. You can still reach 3.9 GHz but sometimes it drops to 1.1 GHz and back to 3.9 GHz. The 1070 users should play with the speed shift settings to lower the temps. But overall, I think the 8750H is a very powerful chip. Hope they try to improve more on the cooling aspect. And speaking of temps, I really want to replace this one. But for now, I will just stick with it. Please be reminded that all units are not the same. And this may or may not work for you, so proceed with care if ever you want to try this one. Well, I hope it works for you guys. That's it. Subscribe. Peace.